Hi there, everybody. <laughs> this is J. Richard Varvel with the JRV Morning Show, coming to you live uh, this beautiful Friday morning. And I have a co-host today for we'll see how long. <laughs> and uh, his name is Watson. Yes, he is my little terrier mix. Uh, my sister and I uh, rescued him back in... 2013 and no, no it was yeah November 2013 because it was after the fire and so uh we rescued him from the pound that's over here in Bakersfield it's the county pound not the not the city one but anyhow it doesn't really matter where we got him from <laughs> the fact is we got him and so it's hard for him for, to be in the camera so I have to lift him up like this <laughs> and I I know he doesn't mind it for too long oh thank you so you give me kisses Oh, he's going to give me kisses. Thank you so much. Um, so, hello, uh, Aaron. Good morning. Watson says good morning, too. Uh, he is excited um, that you gave him a vote to come on the show. He's happy to be here. So he'll, uh, we'll have him pop up and down uh, every now and again, and you might see his little ears. I'm not sure how much comes through on the live show. I know it's different on phones than it is on the computer because... When I pull it up on my computer screen, it looks like it's full size. However, I think when it's um, on uh, on a phone or whatever being viewed, it's not. It's like a square. So I try to. I, I hope I'm <laughs> visible. <laughs> I'm in the middle of the screen, so I do my best. <laughs> uh, really quick, I'm just going to share my page really fast while I am here, and it is easy. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Watson. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm so glad you're here with me, too. Uh, so uh, I hope you're having a good day so far, Aaron. Happy Friday to you. And um, let me just share this real fast. <clears throat> All right. Posted. Okay, great. So there's that. Um, uh, <laughs> um, you ha uh, so are you talking about my shirt pocket button up or you have a shirt pocket button up? <laughs> I guess I'm still waking up this morning. I've been, um, uh, running a couple errands cause I have an event after the show that I have to literally, uh, leave and go right to. It's at the, um, Powell Collective. It's in downtown Bakersfield. They're right off the 178. Uh, right when you're coming down the hill and uh, so they're a cannabis collective and um, so uh, you don't have to worry about being a member or having a card um, that's no worries I'll be set up in their front lobby it's like a like a glass all glass front lobby it's kind of cool uh, so I'll be set up out front <coughs> there uh, inside luckily so I'll be in the nice warm weather uh, unlike first Friday which will be cold tonight uh, but I won't be there tonight, uh, so I'm doing it because I'm doing this. Uh, but anyhow, I'll be at the Powwow Collective and the, the Powwow Vitality Collective, and that starts at noon and goes till five. It's for their customer appreciation day, and they said that I could totally set up a booth and um, be available for anybody that's interested that wants to check out uh, the Sacred Aromatherapy. So I'm excited about that, and. Uh, I don't know if you've done a lot of research, uh, but I have on uh, all the different forms of cannabis, not just the smoking form, but also there's edibles and oils and um, different compounds that uh, have even now been proven to cure cancer. Uh, and so uh, it's definitely worth checking out. There are definitely alternative therapies for pain, cancer, uh, sleep issues, anxiety, uh, and I'm not saying um, take out one drug for another, and I'm not condoning anything. Uh, I feel like this is a personal choice that everybody has to make for themselves. Uh, however, I just want to share that there are other things available than just uh, mainstream pharmaceutical uh, drugs uh, that you can take. Um, <clears throat> there are other medicinal uh, ways to go about uh, different um, different uh, medical issues that we might have. Uh, so. And, and the other great thing about uh, hemp products is it's a, sustain, a sustainable building product. You can build or you can make clothes out of it, uh, fabric, so, and it's sustainable. 
Um, so we wouldn't have to cut down a bunch of trees. So there's definitely a lot of things that we can do uh, with uh, a cannab cannabis plant, the marijuana plant, um, and, and it doesn't just come down to smoking it. I know one of the things I like to use too, and this is a great thing you could use my oils with as well, doing it is they have these uh, roll-on, um, like, uh, it's not really a cream, but it's, it's like a, um, a serum. And uh, inside the serum is, uh, like, is, is the THC, uh, but it's in, the one that I got was in an emu oil, which is great. It supposedly helps really get uh, into your skin and into all the layers. And uh, I used it on my knee. I had some knee pain and I've used it on like my neck and shoulder area when I've uh, tweaked my neck before and it works fantastic. And then I don't have to worry about taking anything or, um, you know, I do do my energy work and, and stuff, uh, but sometimes things are not immediate and it is nice to have some relief. And so I, I'm all for any way to go about that as naturally as possible because uh, uh, that's just how I like to go about it. Now, am I perfect? No. <laughs> Do I think it's being about perfect? No, I don't. <laughs> Do you think it's about being perfect, Watsy Potsy? I don't think so. <laughs> He's happy to be here this morning. Uh, however, there's a lot of different ways to go about it. I'm not condoning any particular way. I think it's important for you to do your own research and to figure out what's in your highest and best good. I feel like we all have an internal guidance system, a heart guidance system that guides us to what is uh, best for us when we're um, in alignment with it. Uh, and it takes us from one place to the next to the next and each thing leads to the next. And so we're always in the right place at the right time. Uh, and uh, especially when we have our focus and intention set that way as well, helping that actually manifest here in the, in, in the uh, physical reality we call uh, planet Earth, this whole world of form. Uh, okay, so it is 11.07. Let's get to the uh, energy reading, card reading of the day for everybody. All right, Watsi Patsy, you going to be okay right here? You going to be okay right there? Yeah. He's bringing his energy to it. Okay, so... Um, Highest and best good for the collective. I had knock on the deck in order to bring it present and in this now moment, we're asking for the highest and best card that reflects the energies of today for everyone. All right. Dun, dun, dun. Work. <laughs> we got work again. Okay, so, and again, this, uh, this is partially uh, what you do, uh, <laughs> let me start again. Okay. So, um, this is about partially uh, your work in the world as far as what you do to make money. However, it goes deeper than that. It's really the work you came to do here on a spiritual level, on the collective level. Uh, what is your, your, your unique aspect of spirit that you came here to manifest like uh, that, that is your work, so to speak. And um, this is also work that doesn't necessarily talk about money that you would make from doing it. However, you could also make money um, doing the work you came here to do that even could be service work. Um, it is possible to have both and something, you know, and everything in between. You know, I feel like it's uh, important to go beyond money when making choices and decisions for ourselves. it's very easy to stop and um, and say I can't do this because it's too much money uh, or oh you know I can't I can't part with that much money even though you know that that's a great uh, uh, adventure for myself like uh, like the whole idea of like how much things cost factoring it that you know, that becomes such a big factor for making a decision and when that happens we rob ourselves of having certain experiences because there are creative ways to go about anything for example i went to maui uh, last year at the beginning of 2016 and i stayed on a property that had um, tents on it but they were like nice big tents and they had power uh, and it was awesome because i was right on the cliff of a um, of the ocean plus i had a waterfall next to me and it was 40 dollars a night and that was on the island of Maui on this amazing property. And uh, I spent $40 a night for that. Um, and I, if I were to look at hotels, I couldn't get probably anything under $400. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, so there's ways to do things. Uh, um, it's not always, doesn't have to be expensive. Uh, however, sometimes we have to be willing to modify things or, or get creative. Um, but again, I'm off track, uh, but, but it's all part of it. Um, so again, uh, the card of the day work, uh, it is, uh, being aware of what, what is it that you really want to, um, uh, hang on one second. Uh, I'm not sure what's, what's happening. <laughs> I'm not sure everybody sees me or not because everything froze on my end, but we're going to keep going. Uh, let me finish this reading. I'm, I've got, I've gotten sidetracked here, people. <laughs> uh, so again, we're just going to keep it simple. It's, we're, it's really just reiterating what already came through the last time the work card came up earlier this week. And then this is just a time to really be, uh, reflecting on what is working for you, what isn't, what you'd like to move into, what you'd like to expand into, what you're ready to let go of. Um, that's what this card is really talking about. And there's, it's all about the personal work you want to do on yourself. Uh, and it's an investment in you, uh, which is totally worth it. <laughs> okay, so that's that. We're at the 11-11 meditation. And I want to just refresh my page and see if um, I can see the live feed on my um, computer because I'm not sure what's going on. <laughs> and, oh no, I'm there. Okay. Uh, I'm there. I'm, I'm not sure what's happening, but we're good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> okay. So let's, I'm, I guess I'm a little bit sidetracked. Uh, there's a lot going on, uh, but it's okay. We're going to get into the meditation and we're going to get uh, even more present and we're going to go deep. So, uh, let, oh good. Thanks Sarah for confirming that you see me. <laughs> um, so Watson and I say, let's close our eyes because we're going to go deep into the meditation and he's going to go into it with us. All right. So we're closing our eyes and let's grow roots from the base of our spine and the bottoms of our feet down into the center of mother earth. This is connecting to the earth energy, the earth consciousness, as well as grounding your energy out and aligning you to your uh, highest and best good, highest and best energy, and grounding out all the rest. And I'd like you to become aware of a gold and silver ball of light at the center of your heart space. And I would like you to begin to expand your gold and silver ball of light. This is your divine spark, your divine energy. Allow it to expand and get bigger and bigger and bigger past your bodysuit. And we're going to keep taking it out uh, to 33 feet. It's a perfect sphere all around you, powered by your energy from the infinite energy within you that is you. And it's divine source creator energy coming through your heart space like a star bursting out in every direction. You are powerful. You are love. Yes. And now we're going to wrap up our inner treasures week, the theme of the week, going deep and uncovering treasures. We are going to lift off in our gold and silver ball of light. And we are going to head back to that enchanted hilly area where we ran into the rainbow earlier this week and we're going that rainbow is still there and it's still shining bright and on the right hand side of the rainbow uh, from which whichever direction you are coming to it uh, on the right hand side is the pot of gold and i would like you to fly by that pot of gold but we're not stopping there we're going to fly all the way over the rainbow. We're going to ski on the rainbow. We're flying to the left side of the rainbow now. And there <laughs> is another pot of gold. This one's even bigger. And this one you notice has a whole legion of fairies flying around, beautiful fairies of the light. They are spreading their 
uh, fairy dust over you, over the pot of gold, also all over the flowers and uh, plants and all the animal life coming to join you. It's almost like a snow white moment where you notice all the little animals and creatures of the forest coming out, some physical, some non-physical, but all of the light, all of love, all here to support you, all making themselves apparent and known. Uh, just be an observer and be aware of all the beautiful animals and entities of light. They are all emanating love and light, and they are, um, like you, uh, shining it out bright like a star, and uh, they are assisting in you and amplifying your energy, as well as helping you uncover uh, even more treasures that are even deeper buried within. We have just been uncovering layer and layer. Uh, we're opening up layer and layer of the onion, and each layer that we uh, go deeper and deeper, there's uh, more and more treasures to be uncovered. And today at this pot of gold is a whole other layer and level of treasures. And we have the full support of all of our uh, Light Align team showing up in the way of all the wonderful creatures and animals, all of love and light here with us. Okay, wonderful. Now I'd like you to walk up to the pot of gold. And this one you have to uh, climb up into. It's that big. <laughs> and I would like you to get up in the pot of gold. And I would like you to just sit up there and then just move your hands over the pot of gold. And just see which pieces you want to go down and touch um, and pick up and feel. And you're just scanning the pot of gold, seeing what draws your attention right here and right now. And I'd like you to pick up one piece in each hand. Each hand, one has a unique symbol on it. One you may or may not recognize, but that's okay. And I would like you to hold them in the palms of your hands. And... <clears throat> I would like you now to place them into your heart. And these are encoded gold pieces, so to speak, that are assisting in the unfolding process of the treasures we're uncovering today. So it's just a, an energetic pattern, an energetic assistant that is helping us to uh, fully realize these uh, uncovered gifts that we've just uncovered by coming to this other pot of gold and having this visit in this enchanted hilly forest. And we're allowing ourselves to be a kid. We're allowing ourselves to be in a, in a wondrous, in a place of curiosity. And we're allowing ourselves to have this uh, experience with ourselves, with our imagination as well as collectively with each other. All right, be aware of any sensations you might feel in your body, any vibrations, uh, as well as any intuitive guidance or uh, ideas coming to you at this time. And also be aware of any colors or shapes or sacred geometry. And one thing to be reminded of is uh, whenever you go into a meditative state and engage your consciousness in this way, uh, it can sometimes activate some uh, dreams and make dream time even more active than normal. And it is a good idea to write those dreams down and uh, look at the symbols um, and see um, what those dreams are wanting to tell you. What messages are wanting to come through. All right, I'd like you to thank yourself. Thank all the beings of light, your entire Light Align team that has come to join you in this experience. 
all the fairies and angels. Yeah, so now we are flying back to whatever room we are in on planet Earth. Coming back to our physical bodies, beginning to wiggle our fingers and toes, and opening our eyes whenever you are ready. Okay, all right, thank you so much for joining me uh, on that one. Uh, I would love to uh, hear how that was for you in the comments. Again, this, this week has been about uh, inner treasures, uncovering all the inner treasures uh, that are within. Um, we come with we come with everything we need in this earthly journey, uh, especially at least I see it from the perspective as that we are spiritual beings having this human experience, and so we never are disconnected from our spiritualness, our uh, our energetic aspects, the part of us that goes far beyond this time and space and this this current reality. However, it doesn't make this reality any less important uh, to be in. This is the life that we're in now, and it's very important for us to be alive and awake and uh, speaking our truth and being ourself, uh, however that looks and however we want to do it. And to also give ourselves the freedom to allow that to change and shift and, uh, and grow and um, expand uh, as we go. Uh, we're never fixed. Nothing ever has to stay the same. And we are the ones that, uh, if we want to change it, uh, get to change it. <laughs> so, uh, okay. Um, I'm glad uh, that everybody uh, was able, or, or I'm just really happy that uh, for all those that were able to tune in today, both live and in the archives. Um, the phone line, uh, if anybody would like to call in for questions or a mini reading, is 661 800 5875. Again, that is 661 800 five eight seven five and uh i will work on getting creative to see if i can figure out a way to get watson uh in a position where he can be higher <laughs> uh and so he can be more visible and then that way i don't have to lift him up like this <laughs> i know he doesn't mind uh but i know that uh <laughs> he only likes it for so long and i totally get it so uh, i'm gonna check my comments here really quick and see um, and see uh, if um, I think oh you know what I might have done <laughs> did I do it again I might have posted I might have posted it again to my page uh, the, the J. Richard Marvel page and not to my other one <laughs> uh, okay anyways so Thank you guys so much for joining me. I don't see any comments and I don't know that uh, I don't see anybody having any questions or having um, any um, requests for readings. So I'm going to uh, wrap up the show for now. Uh, I'm going to get myself uh, finished getting ready to be at the Pow Wow Vitality Collective. Again, it's for their customer appreciation from one to five and it's a great opportunity to see me up front. Uh, to check out my uh, sacred essential oil blends in person. Uh, and I would love to uh, see you. Uh, if I don't see you, happy Friday. I'm surrounding everybody with a giant hug of love. Until Monday at 11, I'll see you then. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye. And Watson says bye-bye. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye.